Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajisu da'ifu, miskinu, zalim, jahad. And but for the grace of Allah is His rahmah and mercy. It's the miracle of the agha, miracle of Sayyidina Muhammad that we find ourselves in this place, in this way and in this love and this ishq that the heart is the Kaaba and that Allah's Divine love and grace is to occupy the heart of the believer. And Allah teaches for us, I'll show you the signs within yourself and upon the horizon. And upon the horizon He sent Muhammadun Rasulullah to tie up the deen and the way of Allah Go back, conquer the Kaaba for the symbol of Allah the symbol of the house of Islam, the house of Allah the symbol of submission and the direction and the qibla of direction, he sent for all upon the horizon the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah that go back to the house, clean and purify the house, make it the perfection of oneness and call humanity to my oneness. And then Allah gives for us within ourself, that isn't my house within your heart. And why is it that you want to conquer your heart by yourself? Why don't you call Muhammadun Rasulullah as I called, as I sent, as I sent the reality of Prophet to that region to call back mankind towards humanity, towards their reality to clean and to purify the oneness and tawheed of Allah Allah will inspire within our heart that, your heart is also my house. If you want me to reside within it, if you want my light and my love to be within it, call upon Muhammadun Rasulullah And you see that light like a, a marshalling of armies coming, like battalions of armies the light of Sayyidina Muhammad begin to enter into the hearts of believers. Every nasheed, every salawat, every time they recite Muhammadun Rasulullah because the heart is reciting. The heart has a love for Allah and every time it calls Muhammadun Rasulullah Prophet His reality is coming like a labaik that I'm coming to the house of Allah If in your heart has a love for Allah then I'm the first one, say, Labaik, that I'm coming with my light, with my blessings, with my force, with my ability and begin to ride into your soul and into your heart to purify the heart, to wash and to cleanse the heart, to circumambulate the heart and throw all the idols out. As I did for the physicality which has not the weight of a mosquito, my real reality is to enter the souls of insan and bring their, their wujud and their being back to Allah Not to purify a stone house in the desert but it was the symbol that every time you say Muhammadun Rasulullah because the qalb al mu'min baytullah, they have Allah in their heart and they're calling out. And when they say Muhammadun Rasulullah, Prophet labaik, the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah is drawn, is drawn to the reality of La ilaha illallah. Wherever there's Allah is Muhammadur Rasulullah 
to come to purify, to take away everything that's false. Every shaitan that's trying to block that reality, it's the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah that comes. And every time we say, Muhammadun Rasulullah the light of Prophet comes free, comes with beatific light, beatific energy, enters into the heart that he said, if you mention me one time Allah sends my light to you because he's drawn to Allah. He wants to purify the heart for the worshipness of Allah his love for Allah But shaitan make the insan and humans to say that you don't need, you clean yourself. How you can clean yourself? How can you rid yourself of yourself? Yourself that made a partner with shaitan and devils. And shaitan tells them, don't, don't, don't mention Muhammadun Rasulullah you do yourself. And Allah's greatest ni'mat, immense blessing is this ishq and this love. That every time we mention Muhammadun Rasulullah this light is entering into the heart and looking into the heart for wherever Allah is not pleased with. Whatever idols are being set up by the nafs inside the wujud and the being of somebody, Prophet is coming. The light of Muhammadun Rasulullah is entering and is fierce against disbelief. Haris alaykum bin mu'mineen huwa ra'ufun raheem but loving to the believer means he reads them of the bad and fills that with the love of Allah fills their reality with the sweetness of praise and is a great najat that as we're entering towards Hajj we'll be honest to ourselves, Ya Rabbi how my heart is going to, to go for this pilgrimage? How am I going to make my house and my heart to be the house of Allah how am I to rid myself of my devils and my bad desires and my bad characteristics? And Allah give for us, call upon Muhammadun Rasulullah make excessive salawats in Zulhaj, excessive praisings, excessive meditation and contemplation that only Prophet can come to clean the heart and perfect it for the worshipness of Allah in which if it's been cleaned by Muhammadun Rasulullah now the light of La ilaha illallah resides pure and purified within that residence. It's a great gift this love that Allah gives to us. And if we can conquer shaitan and his bad whisperings we can enjoy the gift that Allah has given, love the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad making salawat and durood often for that reality and that I'm not capable. Laila anta subhanika ni kuntum mila dalimin. Glory be to you Ya Rabbi but I'm verily an oppressor to myself. When I truly believe that reality then my salawats, my praisings, my muraqabah, my contemplation, seeing myself at Rosa Sharif, please say, Ya Rasul Kareem, send your light into my heart that you fight my demons, you clean my heart, take away all my bad characteristics. So the reality and the love of La ilaha illallah will reside within my heart and that Allah may chance be happy with me. We pray that Allah dress us from the immensity of these blessings, prepare for us the movement into Zulhaj and the month of Hajj and the realities of Hajj and the realities of faith. That Allah dress us from its blessings and prepare our soul for that reality and that Allah complete His ni'mat, complete His favours upon our soul and our path, our families, our communities inshaAllah. Subhan rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen 
وحرمة محمد المصطفى وبسير سورة الفاتحة